How's it going legends? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and hopefully I can teach you something today. So what we're going to talk about is the harmonic minor scale. This would have to be my favourite scale, the one I've used the most. Just such a cool sounding scale. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you just one position to start with and one octave, which is from the 7th fret on the 5th string. And that's the first octave of it. The second octave is... You join those two together and you've got... And that is the fundamental of the harmonic minor scale. Now once again, it's boring if you just play scales up and down, but they're definitely good when you're learning or starting off. It's very good for your coordination to just run through scales. Now one thing you'll notice in this scale and a lot of other scales is the fingering patterns that they use is the 1-3-4 and 1-2-4. So in this one we've got 1-3-4, 1-3-4, 1-3-4, 1-3-4. Which you can do that to get to. Or you can go one, two, four there. One, two, four. And a one, two, four. Except you're just reaching out instead of going. You're reaching out just one extra with that pinky. Finishing on the octave right there, which is pretty cool for like. So yeah, it's really cool to run through this scale and start doing like legato with it. Really cool to get that coordination going on that one. And one thing I've used this uh, scale a lot with is you'll notice when you get to the... type of riff and that sort of shape because I did that scale so much that became something when I wrote a riff I was like that's heaps cool and you'll I've seen riffs use that type of pattern even if we'll move it down and just in a different position and this is like in a different key now but... <laughs> Still the same fingering as like even that little chug section is using the notes of the harmonic minor scale. So what I'm going to do now is throw up a fretboard diagram that shows every single note of the harmonic minor scale. And what you'll see is there's diagonal patterns and you can even start to experiment and find your own patterns that aren't normally like the typical way to do things. And I think that's really cool to create your own sort of ideas and styles but still staying with this harmonic minor, you know, world. But in saying that, if you want to step one note outside, man, just let's use your ears and for whatever reason you like that sound, do it. But hey, for the purposes of this lesson, we'll just stick within the framework. Now this diagonal pattern's a really cool idea. It starts at the second fret. <laughs> which you could use it with some tremolo picking.
that's like a really cool idea and concept that isn't your typical just running through a two octave pattern. And just getting a bit more creative and seeing different patterns that you've made yourself that isn't the typical way of doing things. Which I'd say in heavy metal, stepping outside of that typical is a cool concept. But that's not to say don't use the scale. Obviously it's good for coordination. <laughs> scale runs are still going to get your hand coordinated and ready to make up your own style and riffs. So if you're interested in having these patterns to download for yourself, I've started off a Patreon. It's only $2 a month, 50 cents a week. Hey, it's a bargain. If you're interested in that type of thing, then that's what I'm going to be offering is every single week there'll be a new scale, a new pattern, Guitar Pro 8 files. If that's something to be interested in, go check it out. But as always, until next time, take care of yourself and look after each other.